Hey, Aaron Cannon with Sage Dynamics. Uh, what I want to talk about is offline or lateral movement. Uh, basically, that's another tool we want to have, and what it allows us to do is get off the so-called X. Uh, incoming fire always has it right away. As we draw our weapon or we shoulder our rifle, there's dead space in there in which we can perform another task. One task that you might want to think about incorporating into your practice is taking an offline or a lateral step uh, to change the sight picture for your threat. Uh, for threats presenting a weapon, um, usually they're already in the action mode, um, whereas we are reacting to the threat. Uh, so we need to buy ourselves some time uh, as we access our weapon, raise our rifle, shotgun, what have you, to force our threat to reassess their, their target, which allows us to deliver fire. Uh, basically, it's just movement. All it is is taking an offline step. All it is is taking a lateral step. Uh, skills such as that. Uh, some people may think it's, it's silly uh, until they really think about the implications of what do they gain by not moving. Um, using indoor ranges and things of that nature, we're in these little three-foot stalls where we can't practice skills like that, such as offline movement, so we get used to standing still as we shoot. Where in reality, a gunfight, if you watch dash cam footage from law enforcement shootings or anything like that, you see that people are constantly moving uh, and some of them have never been actually trained or practiced to do so. So how more efficient would they be in those actions if they moved? Uh, Cruden's dictates if, if, we're, if we're, we become more proficient, proficient by practicing our firearm skills, our, our fundamentals and our sight picture, sight alignment, things of that nature, we become more proficient. So why wouldn't we become more proficient fighting moving if we practice moving? Uh, so what you're going to see in this video is just some, some simple uh, scenario demonstrations of where offline movement is beneficial. All right, just like we already talked about, in this drill I had two threats right next to each other. Obviously I have one with a knife, one with a gun. Uh, the one with the gun is going to be a larger threat. What I did in this drill is the only thing that made sense to me was to stack my threats immediately. I delivered a strike to the guy with the knife. My first round out of the gun was to the guy with the gun because he's the larger threat. And then I immediately stacked my threats and engaged them both. way to move anyway so you yeah. stack your threats on the tone when you're ready ready mm -hmm. on the tone Uh, that teach offline and, and lateral movement say don't cross your feet. I'm going to go ahead and say right now, if you're agile enough to cross your feet, you should be doing it because it's faster. Especially with a, an actual side movement where you want to keep your body square to the threat, it's going to be quicker to cross your feet than it is going to be to sidestep or the so-called electric slide. Uh, the faster and more agile you can be, obviously, the more effective you're going to be in your movement. Uh, you see professional athletes do it all the time, football players, basketball players, uh, um, especially you see it a lot in soccer. Uh, they cross their feet when they move uh, because they're agile enough to do it. If you're including physical fitness into your practice regimen, there's no reason why you can't get yourself to a point where you can move that way effectively. Obviously, terrain is going to dictate. If it's snow, ice, what have you, it might not be prudent to move that fast. Uh, but obviously, common sense comes into play of that. Uh, most of us have been walking since we were about, you know, between 12 and 15 months old. You've been doing it for a long time. So there's no reason why you can't move and shoot. Okay, offline movement isn't necessarily to the left or the right. It can also be a lateral step to the rear. What I'm going to demonstrate now is being aware of your surroundings, your offline movement, your lateral movement can get you to cover. 